Thank you for joining Go Engineer's presentation on upgrading Agile Advantage to Agile 9.3. Oracle's support model is changing. At the end of 2010, Oracle is moving Agile Advantage from premier support to sustaining support. What this means for customers is that support for new product issues will no longer be available and new product development will cease. However, users can still log support tickets but they may not get a resolution depending on whether or not there is a fix already developed. We want you to go with Go since Go Engineer is the largest reseller and implementer of Agile in the U.S. with over 300 implementations. Also, we've engaged in more than 50 Advantage to 9.x conversions to date. Go Engineer's upgrade methodology is simple and straightforward. First, we train super users. We install the application. We perform a dry run of the database upgrade, validate the upgrade data and the configuration, we tweak applicable new roles and privileges, we perform the production database upgrade, we migrate the file vault, and finally we go live. Go Engineers developed an optimized implementation offering for Advantage conversions. The cost is a fraction of a net new implementation including data migration using proven scripts and business process configuration or reconfiguration if applicable. We primarily work remotely minimizing travel expenses. You pay for deliverables, not hours, and there's no cost penalty if the customer slows down. Shown here is a graphical representation of Go Engineer's upgrade methodology. We commonly migrate customers within a three to five week time frame. Discounts for migration licenses make 9.3 licenses affordable. We also offer a 48-hour turnaround time for upgrade quotes based on a single scoping call. Should the need arise, Go Engineer provides Agile hosting. Go Engineer is the only Oracle authorized Agile hosting partner. Hosting offering includes low cost per user regardless of the modules implemented. And now let's look at a demo of Agile 9.3. The new Agile interface has been optimized for user efficiency. You're currently viewing the opening page that the user sees each time they log into Agile. This is the dashboard view of the content area. Content area navigation has been made easier through the use of tabs and subtabs. The tabs and sub-tabs available on the home page are user configurable and somewhat dependent upon the modules that have been installed. The left navigation pane controls many functions such as the button to log out, help, tools and settings which are imports and exports, and my settings so each individual user can control their configuration. There are also three drawers, folders, reports, and the navigator. We'll talk about the navigator again in just a little bit. When you expand folders, this is where all your default searches, personal searches, depending on the modules, roles, and privileges you've been assigned, bookmarks, and your recently visited list are contained. Many out-of-the-box reports are available as well as user customizable reports. The navigator drawer allows the user to capture search results, bills of materials, and other information for later use. Simple collapse and expand buttons allow better visibility of the content area. Agile 9.3 provides basic browser functionality as you'd expect. We have a back, forward, refresh, and home button. The home button takes you to the dashboard view we've been looking at. This drop-down list provides the users with the capability to create new objects in the database. Everything from parts and documents, manufacturer parts, changes, projects, and so on may be created from this particular drop-down.
Simple quick searching capability has been provided at the top of every page. The user simply types in a few characters of the object they're looking for, and the search results are provided in the content area. You can return to the home page at any time by simply clicking on the home button. Another new function is the ability for each user to create their own quick links to objects that they often have to use. Let's look at how easy it is to find information in Agile 9.3. The quick search function gives me the ability to search on all items in the database or narrow down my search by object type. As an example, say I wanted to find a 50 volt capacitor in a certain package type. I could type in a C, yet when doing that I'm provided with all items that have the character C included. To make it more specific, I can type in cap, and as you can see I just get a listing of capacitors. This doesn't give me quite the results I'm looking for, so I'll type in the package type I'm seeking. As you can see, I get both resistors and capacitors for the same package type. To get the results I'm looking for, I need to combine a few quick searches into a more advanced search. Very simply done, I select the category I'm looking for, type in a few values, and I get exactly the results I was looking for. I can add these search results to the navigator drawer by simply clicking on navigator. This makes all those parts available for use later. Another way to find information is by going to the searches area under the folders drawer. Simply select the search you want to run, click on it, and your search results are provided. Same works for bookmarks and recently visited. Simply click on the item and it takes you directly to that object. A lot of information is presented in a very easily understood format. You have item numbers, the type of item, the descriptions. In this case a part has pending revisions and recently released revisions. It always opens to the most recently released. You can press the navigator button and there's a whole set of actions you can run. For instance, you can create new changes, quality items, or export and import uh, to Excel. And each object's lifecycle phase or status is predominant at the top of each and every page. Specific information is provided on each tab of the object. The bomb tab, for instance, provides information regarding attachments, manufacturer's information, pending changes, quality events, and pending declarations. It is a multi-level bomb tab you can expand and contract each of the levels of the BOM at any time. Another new capability in Agile 9.3 is the function called Quick View. This allows the user to view details about items without navigating away from the page they're currently working on. Creating new objects is very simple. Simply go to the Create New, select the type of object you want, and Agile presents a wizard. Once the object type has been selected, the wizard takes you to a page to fill in all the details. 
This is a customer configurable page and may be different for each of the object types. Bill of Material creation has been greatly simplified by the ability to drag and drop and copy and paste items from various places such as your recently visited and navigation drawers. As in previous versions of Agile, you can still use the Add functionality. Search for a part that already exists by typing in basic criteria. Note here that there's a Type Ahead function. You can type a few characters and Agile will do its best to find what you're looking for. From the list, you can select an individual or multiples using the typical Windows commands. New advanced productivity components make adding files to the Attachments tab much simpler. You can browse and select individuals or multiples. You can use your Windows Explorer to drag and drop a file. And you can even drag and drop an entire folder. There are a great many new shortcuts added to the system. One is the capability to create a change directly from the new part we just created. The Create New Wizard is launched and we can generate whatever particular kind of change we're looking for. This is the same wizard that we would address if we were using the Create New from the pull-down list. As we see on the Affected Items tab, our new part has automatically been added to the Affected Items tab. Agile 9.3 makes it very simple to redline the title block, bomb, manufacturer's information, and attachments information right on the Affected Items tab. The drag and drop capability works fine on this object just as well as other objects in the system. The Workflow tab graphically shows the current status of the particular change, as well as the detailed status down below. Agile 9 has a brand new object called a folder. This is akin to file folders on your desktop or your network drives. A folder may contain any file type and any quantity of files that you like. Folders are version controlled and provide a checkout and check-in capability. Just like using your network, you may have folders within folders and these are also version controlled. The Relationships tabs provides the ability to relate any object to nearly any other object without actually having to enter it onto the Bill of Materials. As relationships are created, the Relationships tab for both objects is automatically updated. The user can follow the trail of the relationships throughout the database and each relationship may have multiple relationships relating to other objects. That ends our presentation of Agile version 9.3. Thank you for your participation. 
If you have further questions, please contact Go Engineer.